Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write algebraic expressions from a given phrase. This video will specifically be covering expressions with one operation. Understanding how to write out algebraic expressions will help build a solid foundation for other algebra topics and really a solid foundation for all of math because taking these phrases and being able to understand them helps us to apply math and the correct operation to situations. So this is a key skill in algebra and problem solving, and most importantly, problem solving situations in real life where math is applied. Now, recognizing keywords is going to be extremely important when writing algebraic expressions. So let's jump into our examples and start with number one, where we have the product of nine and M. So product is going to be our keyword. It means the answer to a multiplication problem. So we know this is going to be multiplication, nine times M. Now M is our variable. It's a letter that represents a value we do not know yet, so an unknown. Let's go through some different ways that we can write algebraic expressions that involve multiplication. Now this first one we want to avoid, and that's using an X to represent our multiplication symbol. Now we want to avoid this so we don't have any confusion because this can mean two things, 9XM where we have an algebraic expression with two variables, X and M, or does it mean nine times M? So let's avoid using that. Our other options, well, the first one, we can use 9m. So a number next to a variable represents multiplication. Another option would be using an asterisk. So something that looks like this represents multiplication as well. Another option, using a filled in circle or dot represents multiplication. And then lastly, we can use parentheses. So anytime we have a number next to parentheses, that represents multiplication as well. Let's move on to number two, where we have a number X divided by 12. So this is going to be division. So we can write this out X divided by 12, we can do X divided by 12, or we can do a slash X divided by 12. So some different options for division as well. Number three, seven less than R. Now this one, we switch the order and we need to think less than. We are taking seven less than R. So this is going to be subtraction and it's going to be R minus seven less than. So whenever we see less than, we actually switch the order. So the R comes first and the seven comes second. We are taking seven less than that R. So switch that order. Number four, the sum of W and 55. So sum is our keyword there. And that's the answer to an addition problem. So this is going to be addition. W plus 55. On to number five, where we have the difference of C and 38. So our keyword difference, well, that's the answer to a subtraction problem. So this is going to be subtraction C minus 38. So in the case of that subtraction algebraic expression, we keep the order C first, 38 second, as opposed to number three, where we switch that order. 
that's because we had that less than. So pay attention to wording when it comes to these algebraic expressions. Number six, we have a number y increased by 10. Increased is our keyword. That means that we are going to use addition. So y plus 10. On to number seven, 21 times a number g. So multiplication. So let's use a number next to our variable. Remember, that represents multiplication. So 21g represents 21 times g. Lastly, number eight, the quotient of 46 and x. Now, quotient is our keyword. It means the answer to a division problem. So this is going to be division, 46 divided by x. So let's represent this using a fraction, and this is a division problem, 46 divided by x. So there you have it. There are the basics of writing algebraic expressions. Use keywords to figure out the operation and then write the expression. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.